Hey y'all, so today I have an empties video and I have a ton of stuff so we're just going to jump right in. This is all the stuff that I've used up and I'm just going to give you a brief yes or no would I repurchase it. Um, first things first is the Target brand Epsom Salt Soaking Soaking Spray. Why do I want to say spray? Um, but this is Revitalizing Eucalyptus and Spearmint and this is comparable to the Dr. Teal's. I highly recommend this. Love it. Y'all know I love that stuff. Then I have a deodorant. This is the Degree Motion Sense Dry Spray Fresh Energy. This used to be my Holy Grail deodorant. Not so much anymore. So I probably would not repurchase this. It is a good deodorant, but I need something a bit stronger. Then I have the Neutrogena Deep Clean Facial Cleanser. This is the normal to oily skin. This is my Holy Grail I have to use this every day, morning and night. Love it. So yes, I've already repurchased like six. Then I have some, um, well, is that all? Um, some lotions from Bath and Body Works that I've used up. I have a holiday twisted peppermint. Love this. I will repurchase that when it comes out for the holidays. And then a French lavender and honey. I don't know that I would repurchase this scent. It's like a really, really, really sweet lavender and it's a little overpowering. So I don't know that I'd repurchase this scent, but these um, creams and the tube like this, those are my favorite from Bath and Body Works. Then I have a simple foaming cleanser, kind to skin. This is good if you just need like a gentle face wash. I don't want gentle. I need something that's gonna take everything off. So I probably wouldn't buy this for myself again. Then I have another face wash. This is a Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser. I would not buy this again. This is a Cleanse Deep Down to the Pores Cool Refreshing Tingle. It's like a cream, almost like a thick cream, but I feel like it doesn't do anything. It does give you like a fresh tingle, but I don't really feel like it cleanses the skin. So I would not buy this again. Then I have another Epsom salt. This is just your typical Epsom salt that you can buy at the drugstore or Walmart, whatever. Um, I would buy this again. I alternate this between this and like the eucalyptus, the scented, you know, versions. Oh my goodness, then I have another Epsom salt. This is the actual Dr. Teal's Relax and Relief version of the other one I showed you. So yes, I would repurchase that. Then I have some Equate Refreshing, Refreshing, Refreshing Cleansing Towelettes. This is comparable to the Garnier Refreshing Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I love these. Um, you can get these at Walmart. I highly recommend these, and I have already repurchased these. Love those. I don't use those to remove makeup or anything. I just use them as like a refreshing wipe if I'm feeling kind of oily and need to like just, um, you know, refresh my face. Then I have a Summer's Eve lavender nighttime bubble bath for sensitive skin i really really enjoy this this is great great bubble bath it smells amazing and it just says gentle enough for most sensitive areas ph balanced dermatologist and gynecologist tested then i have a big old tub of lotion this is the vaseline intensive care essential healing no i would not buy this again i feel like it does nothing not a fan. Okay, then I have a Clean and Clear Essentials Foaming Facial Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. I would not buy this again. Again, it is just something gentle, doesn't do much. If you're just like, a, if you have young skin, like are you, if you're a teenager, this may be good for you, but me, I need something a little bit more intense. Then I have a L'Oreal Boost It High Lift Creation Spray. Y'all know I love this. I just talked about it in my recent um, hair video. However, this thing is practically full, but the nozzle has stopped working. I've tried everything in my power. I have repurchased another one since this was stopped working. So that's a bummer. Then I have a Herbal Essence Naked Dry Shampoo. Y'all know I love this. Holy Grail. I have repurchased that. Then I have a Batiste Hint of Color deep dark brown dry shampoo. No, I hate this. I don't know what the hype is with Batiste. Not a fan, don't like it. It makes my hair actually feel more gross than it did before I started. Then I have this, this is so old. This bottle lasted me forever. This is Victoria's Secret Sexy Little Things Noir Tease. You guys, I am obsessed. 
This is probably one of my all-time favorite scents. However, Victoria's Secret scents perfumes do not last. I love this, but I feel like I need to spray it on me a hundred times a day. So as much as I love this, I wouldn't buy it again because it's, I mean, it's a waste. It smells amazing at first, but then it's gone. Then I have a Body Shop Body Butter, and this is the Satsuma, little um, smaller version. I have repurchased these little body butters, but not in this scent. I do not like this scent at all. I did use it all, however, but would not buy the smell again. I like the cocoa butter and the shea butter, but not the Satsuma. Oh, then I have another face wash, the same Neutrogena Deep Clean. Then I have an Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I have repurchased this. This is also my holy grail, highly recommend, especially with the summer months coming up. Then I have two deodorants. So obviously I liked this and this is what I'm currently using. This is the Secret Clinical Strength Clear Gel in Ooh La La Lavender. So that is that. I highly recommend this if you get a little funky under there. It's good stuff. Okay, then I have a Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. This is the Holy Grail Toothpaste. Use this every day. Have purchased a million since then. Then I have, oh gosh, I've got so much stuff in here and my camera is literally going to die. Um, this is a 24-hour moisturization Burt's Bees hand lotion. This is the Milk and Honey Body Lotion. I would not buy this again. It It's a very weird texture. It comes out really creamy, but then it kind of feels like you're rubbing water on your skin. I don't like this. So I would not buy that again. Then a little EOS hand cream. I talked about this in my what's in my bag video and I told y'all the only reason I had it in my bag is because of the size. It was convenient, but I don't like the lotion. So no, I would not buy that again. Then I have a Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic. Y'all know I love this. I have repurchased this love it this is the best exfoliating toner i've ever used then i also have an instant cuticle remover by sally hansen this is another holy girl product for me i have repurchased this and i use it twice a week to remove my cuticles highly recommend then let's see i have a foundation this is the covergirl outlast three-in-one stay fabulous foundation this is like my holy grail drugstore foundation. This stuff is awesome. It's full coverage. It lasts all day and it's good for oily skin. So that is the CoverGirl 3-in-1. I get a lot of questions. People ask me what my favorite foundation is. Drugstore, this right here, honey. Okay, then I have a... What else do I want to show y'all? My hair is going to die and I want to show y'all some things. Okay, so this is the Kiss Revolutionary French Nails. I really liked these. I did an Instagram post on these, um, but they were a little too long for me and I wanted to get them off within a few days. But if you're looking for a quick fix, you know, you've got um, prom, is prom over? I don't know. Getting married, whatever, special occasion. These are a good option. And they didn't mess up my nails too bad when I took them off. Oh, and then I have um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewinder that I've used up there. I have repurchased this awesome concealer this is in the shade fair and so yeah i think that's all i'm gonna share oh i'll show this to you too the sesh Vit, um top coat everybody knows you never get the full bottle because it goes to complete crap so i don't know that i'd buy that anymore i'm really loving the sally hansen um no light top coat whatever yeah that's good stuff okay so everything else in here is just like old funky nail polishes and stuff that I threw in here to show y'all, but y'all don't really need to see all these nail polishes. So that is all of my trash. Comment down below and let me know if you have any questions and subscribe, thumbs up, and have a good day.